I DJed for a bit and made my own music, um, all electronic. And so I read this role and um, James, there were a lot of things familiar about James with my own life and my own career as an actor and um, that I could really identify with. Um, he definitely was his own person though and that was equally as interesting because the world of DJing is such an interesting world to me as I wanted to kind of be a part of that at one point. Um, so I kind of had a lot of things happen at once, you know, it seemed, it seemed like a bit of destiny that this sort of crossed paths for me because I, um, I love the music, I love the scene, and, I, um, and uh, um, the character was something I uh, was really interested in delving into. James Reed's an interesting guy because he was a, he's a musician, or he used to be a musician, who's now a DJ playing sort of top 40 hits for people and, um, um, as Cole says, doing what the people want. But at the beginning, he was a real producer, making real um, progressive electronic music. Um, and really was a big part of the scene and something happened and it, uh, it stopped him and he, he just started to DJ and sort of sign out. It's great working with Zach um, for a lot of reasons. He's a great guy, uh, um, really clever, really smart, but he also has a love for this music. And uh, I think that's so important. Max and I and he and a lot of people on this film have a, have a lot of love for um, variations of electronic music and, and club music and and uh you know when you got that kind of passion for it it comes through with these characters and uh, um that's great to see with zach you know and, and and talk with him about stuff like that and um he is a uh, you know he's a very funny very funny guy and uh, a lot of fun on set and um uh real positive en energy about him and um i think doing great work in this film he's bringing a um he's doing some nice subtle work and I'm adding a lot of depth to, the, to this character. Emily is great as well. Emily is, uh, um, you know, she's, she's, she's very similar to the character, um, very intelligent and very beautiful at the same time, which is always an unsettling thing for a guy. And, um, <laughs> and that fits for the, for the film and for here on set. She's, um, she's got a lot of, a lot there and a lot uh, that's um, burgeoning and coming out in her as an actor. She learns more about herself as an actor and it's great to be a part of that and, uh, and, um, and, and, do, and run scenes with her and really create a history. She, from the beginning, she was very um, adamant about creating a real solid history between, in connection between James and Sophie. Max has a, um, has a real vision of what he wants and if he's not getting there visually or if we're not getting there as actors, he's very clear about um, about it not being quite what we're looking for, and um, and that's always a great thing because you're looking for clarity when you're an actor because you could go all over the the place with your character, and he's he provides a real focus there. And um, they were doing some great shots, and there's some interesting imagery in this film, and um, uh, you know, knowing Max's style, I can see it all panning out when we're when we're working on the day.